Welcome back my boys and girls. So today we got a pretty cool one. So Remember we had the NES classic mini a couple years ago pretty sweet stuff, right? And then just last year We had the Super Nintendo classic mini hells. Yes. Well now For those of you who care We have the C64 mini pretty awesome stuff so for those of you guys who follow me, you know I am in the US, and this has not been released in the US, not as of yet anyway. From what I have seen and heard, the company behind this is looking at a US release somewhere in the near future, hopefully. But in the meantime, I figured, hey, I'm gonna check this bad boy out. So I pre-ordered mine back in September, October, somewhere around there off of Amazon uh, UK. Took just a couple days to get here. I did pay for expedited shipping um, and I thought it would be pretty neat. So today we're gonna unbox this bad boy and check it out. So it looks like it does have 64 games included. Uh, comes with the mini computer, the joystick, HDMI, USB power supply cable, um, but it does not have the actual brick, just like the, uh, you know, I guess the international releases of these devices didn't come with the brick either. Pretty interesting stuff. So, just being upfront and honest, I've never played the C64. Never had one. Um, this does state that it is the world's best-selling home computer, and it's being reborn right here, right now. Uh, so I have zero, zero experience with this system. And to be even more upfront, I've never even seen one in person, the, the legitimate real version. But I've always heard a lot of people talking about this system, talking about how sweet some of the games were. And I thought this would be pretty awesome. You can add games to it. You could play the games that are on it. It does have the C64 basic uh, programming on there that you can screw around and do some programming with, which I think is pretty sweet. I used to mess around with basic quite a bit in the 90s. And I think it might be kind of cool going into this and messing around with it. But today we're gonna unbox it, take a close up look, play some games, see how the user interface is, how everything works, um, and just see if, is it a worthwhile purchase. I don't think this was too expensive. After all the import fees and my, ex, my crazy expedited shipping, this was close to 100 bucks US. But if you're not in the US, it's gonna be Probably about half that price, um, maybe a little more than half, but around that. Uh, and I'm pretty sure once this finally does release in the US, it'll probably be around that $60 price range. Can't say for sure, can't say officially, but I would imagine so. So let's go ahead, dive up close, and unbox this beast. So here she is. I like the packaging, pretty neat. You got the Peggy 7 right there, plugs into your TV, no AC adapter included, like I said. Um, does come with a cable though, at least that's what it said on the box, but there we go. Sides of the box there for you. Here's the back of the box with some highlights of games that can, that, that are on here that you can play. It does have the full list of games down here in this red section. Pretty good stuff. 720p. Cool. So let's go ahead and open this, see if we can open it without a messing up the packaging see if these see if these stickers just peel off sometimes you get these stickers and they just they tear the prints off of the box we don't want that to happen oh nice can definitely appreciate that Beautiful. Oh, 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 oh man, that is nice. Oh my God, I wish these little keys worked, but they don't. That's okay though. But here is the actual system. Oh man, like I've never had this before. I never had the real one, but 
I'm just, I'm really excited to have this. This is pretty flippin' awesome. You got two USBs on the side. You can plug in a additional controller or a keyboard. Power, a little power light there. And then on the back here, you do have HDMI and your power in. Pretty awesome. Dude, that's, I, I was afraid this was gonna feel like a, uh, like a cheap, like just cheap plastic, very light. There's, there's a little, there's a little heft to this, just a little bit. I, I guess we could, we could weigh this. I've been weighing a lot of things on this channel. Why not, why not weigh this real quick? Okay, so here is the scale. Let's go ahead and turn it on. See what we get. It's a good, what, 10 ounces? I, I can't really see it. 10 ounces. So that's, that's some heft to it. Like if you compare that, if you compare that to a Super Retrocade, you're looking at two ounces, right? Let's compare it to how much an NES Classic weighs. What is that? Six, six and a half? Interesting. Might as well check what uh, Super Nintendo Classic weighs. Just for comparison's sake, right? We're at seven and a half. The one thing I do want to point out is I'm sure at least a few of those ounces are taken up by the fact that I do have uh, two of the Nincades in here. So, but still. Pretty interesting to see the weight comparisons anyway. I, I mean, I don't know who really cares, but I thought that was pretty neat. This thing, it, it has some heft to it. it. It feels good. So let's, let's go ahead and get back to what's in the box. HDMI. I'm gonna leave that alone. I've got plenty of them. Guide. A little quick guide. Nice. Kind of goes over everything you would need to know. There's your, your power supply. Like I said, it doesn't come with the brick, but that's all right. Oh. Yeah, and this, this doesn't feel light either. So you've got four buttons here. Not sure what those are for. Two buttons here. And then two fatty buttons right there. Little USB. There's the bottom. Pretty nice stuff. So let's go ahead and plug this in and check it out. Let's do it. Okay guys, so we got the system booted up. Immediately we're greeted to a language select, so got a few options there. We're gonna go ahead and leave it to English. It looked like you press the, those little four red buttons, the far right one makes you go back. Then you do have a couple options, so the little bubble with the A is gonna be your language. The little monitor is gonna be some settings, and then the little wrench. Let's see what's in there, USB keyboard. Okay, cool. You can that's that's nifty. Select what what uh, region you're using. System information and factory reset. And then if we go to the actual monitor, we do have several options here for display. Pixel perfect, pixel perfect CRT, which is going to be with your scan lines. European 4x3 CRT scan lines and without. Then North American 4x3 with scan lines or without. Pretty nice, awesome that they have those options there. And then once we do scroll through these games, and there are 64 of them to begin with, I kind of dig this. It does have that, uh, that you know, NES, Super Nintendo style, uh, the classic system style anyway. Um, and, and I think that's pretty nifty. It's obviously a little different. You know, you do have the, the image up there that kind of rotates through a couple different images of the game, the title screen, and like a little action sequence. Get the name of the game up top, little description of the game, 
people who made the game, composed the music, what the genre is, and the year it came out. So just scrolling through here, you know, I'm being honest, never having this system, never really messing with uh, anything to do with this. There's going to be quite a few games here that I do not recognize, but there are a handful that I do from playing on other systems or just kind of having some knowledge about them. But pretty nifty stuff, 64 games in total. You can add more games through like a USB thumb drive. So that's pretty sweet as well. I'm gonna have to mess with that in the future video. But as you see here, it, I think this layout is pretty crisp. It's very neat. Even though I don't recognize the majority of these games, I, I'm like, I'm just so impressed to have this. Like, not that I have it, but that it's just neat. I'm like a little kid on Christmas with this thing. I, I'm super excited to just play some of these games uh, on an official device. I, I think this is really cool. Rubicon. Let's check that out. Let's just go into a game. See how quick it loads up. There we go. Huh. I don't know what this is about, but screw it. We'll play a little bit. Loading. Load a little faster, please. Okay, okay, we get the point. Level one, let's go. It's still loading. Jeez. Okay, we're loading Rubicon. Can we start? Man. I, I know not all the games are like that, so I'm not tripping. Power on, what do we do? Hmm. Okay, I mean the, the controls feel pretty responsive, but the control scheme for this game is a little... A little weird, press up the jump. Never been a fan of games using up as jump instead of a button. But it, it seems like you can get used to that on this. Huh. It's okay, so I press the far right bottom. We can do a save state so we can save or load. We can bring up a virtual keyboard. Not 100% what we would use that in game. Maybe there's some options. And then we can exit the game. Go back out. So if you want to save your save states, you do it within the game versus on the Nintendo Classics, you did it when you exited the game. But definitely a lot of neat looking games here that I'm pretty excited to check out. So if you guys have any recommendations of games that are on here or games that I should add to check it out, man, seriously, throw it out there, let me know, and I'll definitely check them out. The C64 Hall of Fame, so this is just saying thanks to everybody. Talking about updates and firmware, they do have uh, upgradable firmware for this, so that is pretty cool. Uh, you can go to their website for that. I've already peeped that out. Gives you instructions on how to do it and whatnot. Thing bounces back. Okay. Who dares wins two? Winter games. Okay, the game, those, you know, I'm familiar with those games. Let's check something out. California game. Chips Challenge is fun. That's a really good game. Collect all the chips. You gotta get the color coded keys to open the doors, to get the chips, to get the others. Push things around to make dirt to go over water, watch out for enemies, stuff like that. It's a really fun and addicting game. Creatures, that's the one I want to check out. Huh. Oh snap, they got crushed. Collect the following creatures. Pretty good music. Okay, this game you press up to jump too. I, I wonder if like a lot of these games were made that way. Not a big deal. 
Not a deal breaker for me. I want to get up there. How did I do that? What is that? Oh, you hold the button down. Oh snap, you got me. Dang it. So, I, you know, to, oh, I'm turning the music off and on. Okay, whatever. Um, using this controller, you know, it, it's something to get used to for me. It, it seems how I never played this system before or used a similar controller. Um, or, you know, the original controller anyway. <laughs> but everything's responsive. I'm, I don't... I'm not experiencing any input lag. Um, nothing from, you know, I press the button, it reacts. Like, I'm not, I'm not seeing a delay. Like, I press the button, shoots, press it, shoots, shoot, 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 shoot. Well, I said shoot a little early on that one, my bad, but shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Jump, jump, right, left, right, left, right. Jump. Jump. Yeah, it, it's it's working. I don't know if, you know, I'm looking at my monitor. I don't know if my recording is going to sync up with what I'm saying versus what I'm doing. Um, but I'm not experiencing any kind of input lag or delay. Everything is on point for me. So this is pretty sweet. I, I really can't wait to dive into this, mess around with it some more. Don't want to take up too much more time. I do would. I do would stumbling on my words now i would appreciate you guys dropping any suggestions down below on games that i definitely need to check out on this system either ones that are already on here or ones to add i would prefer you know if you look at the the 64 games that are included to give some recommendations there and then throw out some recommendations on what to add definitely would appreciate that so thanks guys for you know checking this out I'll definitely do a little more content with this device in the near future. Maybe check out a few more games. Um, check out your guys' recommendations and whatnot. Definitely, I'm, I'm like really excited to have this. This It's like Christmas, man. It, I never had this system. I never had the original. But this just feels special to me right now. Having this and being able to experience these games on a legit device. So thank you, smash that like button, subscribe, do all that cool stuff, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye. Boom!